Okay, some of my children obviously were at my school. Their parents are university lecturers and they've messaged me. They've emailed me saying, thank you for what you're doing. We know how hard it is. And I think now everyone is starting to realise how challenging it is. But you have to get obviously get the children into the kind of doing the same thing every single day. So I have the same reading task every day. So the children don't have to think about the complicated ICT stuff. That's just become like natural to them now. They know where to find the work. They know where to find this. It's just the first two weeks were a long learning curve for everyone I think so it was changing literally every day I said at the start I was recording every lesson so I literally had my laptop at home recorded the lesson played it on a Monday and some of the kids skipped it some of the kids fast forward it some kids if I'm not there checking they're watching it they won't watch it and some kids when you're not physically (laughs) mental virtually there they even though they're watching it they're not actually listening so then clock out. I literally yeah. spent like a week and a half recording these lessons, really good lessons, really fun ones, to then having to scrap everything and then do everything live. And then we've worked out that live is probably the best thing you can do. So you can see their faces, are they watching? You can straight away react. But it's like doing our jobs basically, but it's just time consuming. And it's just, yeah. I said, we trained to stand up in front of the class and do all these things. And then our training has just almost kind of gone to, absolutely yeah. yeah it's gone yeah, yeah. now we I have take, to change our jobs basically i take it the parents because they're quite young the parents sit with them or are they like alone yeah, it's, or? Yeah, i said it's a it's a, a big mix i said and it's we've had obviously i think everyone's gonna have the same thing some parents said obviously i have two sisters that are similar teachers and we have the similar things between us so some parents are saying the work's too hard some parents are saying it works too easy you have some parents that will sit next to their child and help which is very good you have some parents that like the, the university students, I have some that are pharmacists and things like this. They can't stay and there. They have to be working because they've got the key workers jobs. Luckily, um, a lot of our children have babysitters, but they're not equipped to help with the kind of the learning and things. So the children are doing it. Luckily, they obviously know me. And luckily, my children are at good enough English level. So they all speak very good English. They can listen to me, even though the Koreans, they are very good at kind of following instructions and they're quite sensible. But um, and then you said you have some of the parents who are behind the camera. And I think that's quite a funny thing to see where you see the, the little child's face look up. And then you can kind of sometimes you we've heard the whispers and answers coming from certain directions. But I said you can understand, like I said, now the parents can see how the children are reacting to how they're reacting to the teacher, how they're reacting in front of their friends. So I think I think it's almost a benefit. I get a lot of parents are now seeing what their children are like in the educational way from their own view which is good and bad do you, yeah do you feel like something tom and i have spoken about before about a possible sort of change after all of this pandemic and coronavirus like goes away do you think it's possible that teaching becomes more remote because obviously uh, universities i think... can definitely see happening that way but what about lower school because obviously like you said it's a lot more unique with younger children parents have to work and stuff whereas yeah, the university yeah. students a different sort of situation yeah, I, I think a lot of a lot of my teaching friends have said that when they come back in, one is that we need to make sure we prepare for this again. So make sure if this ever happens again, they need to know how to do all this online learning. A lot of people have said, have seen how effective it is actually. And like having, instead of, obviously, because we practice handwriting, obviously we make sure they're writing in English. But we've seen that a lot of them struggle to be typing. And obviously in the 21st century, realized how, like, when do we, us free handwrite to that extent we obviously might have diaries notes we can write short sentences here and everywhere not many people unless you're obviously kind of an author or something that kind of things but we mostly send emails especially in our jobs we write blogs online the key typing is a big big issue and obviously especially in schools where back home in the state schools ict is always still a kind of forgotten subject and then whatever school you go to it's always kind of the forgotten one and Obviously, being from our generation, you, we know how important it is to be that kind of on that f- the first step of the ICT kind of ladder, the coding, the typing and stuff. So I think yeah, I think people will realise how, like I said, the children who don't have access to this, they're behind. They straight away. Like, yeah. This has helped us connect with people, has helped us teach. Like I said, literally, I'm doing my lessons that I planned a few weeks ago. I'm literally having the exact same lesson with children. This wouldn't have been done without the ICT. So I think one ICT I'm hoping is going to have a big resurgence. I said we're probably going to carry on doing certain lessons through the computers. Obviously, we won't be doing the video live chat, but they can all have the PowerPoint on the slide. They can be going through it themselves. They can be typing on the PowerPoints and things. Obviously, we had that before, but we never had 
be a focus on it really it's always been like a side venture it's always been like oh this be a nice lesson today we can do a friday where we do the writing on a screen but i think it needs to come very like become a big kind of key focus and i think i reckon i want to parents opinions i'm hoping will change as well so i said obviously we, there's been a lot of posts and i'm sure mostly probably created by teachers that have had the kind of look how hard our job is obviously how much we have to do this with 30 children in our class we have to make sure that all the stuff that they're doing at home we have to do it with all 30 children we have to make sure that every single one of them gets to this task sometimes the parents will see how the from 9 9 a.m to 3 a.m is a long time for some children to do yeah. these tasks and to get all this amazing writing i said obviously i was back in year two so i was teaching like seven eight years old and the children were like kind of made to write two three pages and things which are, they, they can't do it but it's a lot of work and we have 30 children so i'm hoping maybe there's a change of like the expectations maybe from parents of like what we can do with that amount of children in our class maybe that will help uh, i'm not too sure off the top yeah. of my head if there's anything else but i'm sure there's there's going to be changes in every aspect of life i'm hoping i said there needs to be changes in a lot of things and um, i think this hopefully hopefully in a year's time when this is obviously fully over and we, we can kind of look back and we can maybe see the benefits of this happening and yeah, cultural definitely. changes governmental changes and things and I said, like, one, I think handshaking in Korea and things like that, obviously, we kind of just nod the heads, but it's just things like that you don't really think about. Obviously, the amount of people that you handshake, especially in business, especially in jobs, things like that. Handshake is important, I understand it, but is there a need? And that kind of, yeah. just little things like that, just the kind of the amount maybe we do things yeah, like yeah. that. And, just the, and general cleanliness of people. So just the general washing your hands, having that little anti-back kind of in your backpack, just if anything goes wrong. Yeah, so, but I'm sure there'll be lots of changes for education as well. But I think it's well. going to struggle with money, I think, as well, though. So obviously, there's a lot of teachers out, and just I don't know how they're going to catch up with those, especially the GCSEs and A levels. I, I, I'm glad yeah. I'm not in control of those kind of children. Yeah, obviously, yeah. that's that's a big job. The amount of children that go into university this year, I said I'm not really kept up to date of how they're going to solve that problem. But because the last I heard, they cancelled all the testing and the exams, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, all all testing is either being made either remote or they're letting people they're taking predicted grades or they're letting people retake exams in like September time. But obviously by then unis have already taken who they want on and stuff. So yeah. if you're an A level student, you don't want to hear, Oh, I flunked my mocks because I didn't think they were important as most yeah, people I do. Think, and I said that I'm okay, sure there's not those people not that are yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's loads of people our age that have obviously would have been in that position and probably didn't do very well in the mocks, didn't do very well the predicted grades, and then pushed that extra hard and finally got into you. And I said, I'm, I think I was one of them. I said, my mocks did not go well. My AS levels did not go well. But luckily, I pushed hard in the last six months and I got, got to where I wanted first. to be. I got yeah, the degrees yeah. that I wanted. And it's, yeah. I think that's, yeah, I'm, I think that's a hard thing to hit but, with yeah, a lot definitely. of people. 